Hi, I'm Don Jones, and if you're out there pounding the pavement or uh, whipping up a storm on the nets trying to find a new job for yourself, I want to give you some tips for how to build a great resume for the IT industry, how to, how to build something that will get you past that first level of screening and into the interview where you can show them what a great asset you would be. The trick with a good resume is to know your audience. Now, that means every time you submit a resume for a new job, you need to tweak it a little bit so that it fits the audience you're giving it to. For example, I always like to start off at the very, very top with just some basic information about myself. Put the job title that you're applying for, not your current job title. Uh, in fact, try and make your job titles in your resume as generic as possible. Different organizations have got different words they use. The more kind of generic you can make them, the more someone else will be able to understand what that job title is supposed to represent. Include your contact information nice and clear right up front. Follow that up with a very short paragraph about yourself. This isn't about your hobbies or about what kind of movies you like. This tells them in one paragraph who you are as a business person. What sort of work do you enjoy doing? What sort of work do you have experience doing? What is it you really, really want to be able to do in their environment? Why are you a fit for them? You get maybe two sentences to sell yourself. So really spend some time crafting that message. Now, the very next section needs to be generic key facts. Now, here's how I build this. Look at the job posting. Whatever they put in there as a hard requirement needs to show up in this section. And that's because your resume is probably not going to be seen first by a technology person. It's probably going to be seen first by someone in human resources or personnel, someone who's just looking for keywords so that they can screen through resumes and decide which ones get passed on. All the keywords they need to see need to be in this first section. So in this case, I'm assuming that I've read a job posting that asked for someone with an MCSE credential, a bachelor's degree. Maybe they said a CCIE would be nice. They probably specified a certain number of years of experience, and they might've specified a couple of different specific technology products that they want someone to be able to work with. So I've made sure that every keyword from that job posting is included in this very first section. Now they're going to need some more information from you and they do not need to know anything more about your education than what they specified in their job posting. And that needs to be taken care of here. You do not need to go back to kindergarten with your education experience, give them what they're looking for. And that's it. Then launch into your recent work experience. Again, you do not need to go back to your hot dog job stand job when you were 15 working at the theme park, stick with the stuff that's relevant. Make sure they can see that you have a continual work history. If there's a job in here somewhere that isn't really relevant, keep it short. Mention what it was, one sentence about what you did, and, and frankly, that's all you need for most of these things. One quick sentence about why this job is important from their point of view. Try and keep your job titles a little bit generic so people can kind of figure out what that job meant without having to know a lot about the company you worked at. Put the name of the company you worked at, how long you've been there, brief sentence or two about what you did, and that's it. Then you move on. Believe me, if they want to know more about what you did at that job, they're going to ask for you in the interview. This resume's job is to get you the interview, not provide a complete documentation of your entire life. The last thing you should get into is some of the major technologies you've worked with. Now, this is for the technology person who will hopefully get hold of your resume. Remember, you've already listed some of the key stuff that they asked for in their job posting in that first section. This is where you can let them know how well-rounded you are and how you might be an even better fit than they had hoped for. You just got so much more experience than they were even dreaming about. This is where you can get a little bit more detail than things you've worked with. Now, it's really easy to lie here and it's really easy to get a little carried away. Try not to do that. Stick with the things that you know for a fact you are an expert at or that you're really good at. And if there's some stuff that you have moderate experience with or that you are just getting started with, it's okay to put that too. You can put, you know, foundation level experience with this, 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 and this, and that lets them know, you know, okay, he, he's not great with that, but he's, he's into it. And again, they can explore the depths of your experience in more detail in the job interview. This resume is just designed to get you in front of the person who might hire you. And so it's important to keep it super concise, 
one page front side of the paper only because that's all they're going to have time to look at. This is mainly there to get you through that first screening filter into the hands of someone who can then read it and go, I want to interview this guy and I probably want to hire him. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.